I'm Mama Adkins. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to feed my sourdough starter. I'm going to show you how I feed him. I named him Winston and um, it's time to feed him. I'm going to make some bread. Um, I'm going to pull out enough to make bread in a little bit, um, which I'll do another video for. Um, but otherwise, I figured I would show everybody how I feed my sourdough starter. So I keep my sourdough starter in a mason jar um, with a coffee filter for the on the lid. This out of the way. We're gonna use fresh milled flour, fresh milled wheat flour to feed. Sometimes the coffee filter gets caught on the top there. This is what it looks like on the inside. I'm gonna pull out a whole cup. Um, and put this put it into this bowl over here for me to use for bread and I just have a fourth of a cup measuring spoon here um, that I'm gonna use just because it's easier to get in before I pull anything out though I'm just gonna mix it and when you mix it you can kind of see it's still very bubbly perfect for making bread and I just like to mix it sometimes um, it's got a little bit more liquid up on the top and so before I pull anything out I just like to mix everything all together first and then this is the bowl that the starter that I pull out is gonna go into so I'm just gonna set my spatula in that bowl so it has somewhere to be out of my way and I don't like to measure things. I don't like to weigh things, I should say. Um, so I don't really weigh, I just scoop out a cup. So there's the cup. That's one fourth, I need four total because we're doing one fourth cups here. One fourth measuring spoon. My works. Okay, so three more. One, two. And there's all sorts of things that you can do with your sourdough discard. Um, one of my favorite things to make when I don't really feel like baking is just some simple crackers. So I'll definitely have to do a video on that sometime. Uh, but today I'm gonna make bread. I'm gonna do some sandwich bread. Stirred. And then one more. And now every time I do this, it always ends up being almost all of the starter. But what's so cool about the starter is so resilient that it's okay if you take a lot of it out. It's just gonna bubble right back up, which is great. my hands off but so I took most of the starter but there's still a good amount in there um, more than enough to keep going like I said earlier I don't really like to weigh my stuff um, so basically I pretty much feed my sourdough starter one cup of flour every time I feed it and then the water I just kind of eyeball so I don't even really measure the water um, make sure this is dry so here's my fresh milled flour here, and I'm just going to pour in a cup right into my jar. Now with a cup, um, 
it usually rises all the way up to here. So I don't really like to do more than a cup because I don't have a large enough container. I'll take this back and so then I usually just kind of mix this around and then I'll add in the water now the water I do have a filter attached to my sink um, but just for safe measure I also um, I put my water in a measuring cup and I just let it sit overnight um, just in case there's any chlorine left it just lets it evaporate out um, and that's what I have found for me personally, it helps me get the best results with my water. Um, this is my first successful sourdough starter. Most of my other ones have been problems and I kind of figured out that it was, it had to do with the quality of water that I was using. So, so far that's what's been pretty helpful. So after mixing it around, it looks kind of sandy. So I'm just going to pour in some of my water here. And what I'm looking for when I'm doing it is a pancake kind of consistency. So I just eyeball it and I do little bits at a time. Mix it all around. it's looking like so far. Definitely need to add a little bit more though. Okay. You can kind of hear it loosening up more. last little bit here which ended up being about a cup that I had set aside so today it ended up being pretty even it's not always a cup um, sometimes it's like three quarters of a cup sometimes it's only about half a cup it kind of depends on how much um, how long I let it sit in between feedings and um, how much I take out sometimes I don't always take out a full cup sometimes I only take out three quarters of a cup. If there's more in there, then it already has a good amount of liquid. But I took out a, most of it this time, so it makes sense that I would need a whole cup. I always like to check the bottom. As you can see, there's still some flour stuck on the side there, so still need to mix it a bit more. That's what's great about these spatulas, the silicone spatulas. They really help you get in those little crevices. Once your sourdough starter is good and going and feeling pretty strong, you don't even have to be that consistent all the time. Today, it looks like it's a little thicker than I usually have it usually do a little bit more but I only set aside one cup today um, so it's will be fine it um, it's just gonna be a little bit thicker but it'll work out just fine all right now things are coming off the side a little bit more I want to get this up here my finger and scrape it down and then same thing on the other side I'm gonna keep as much starter in here as I can and then I also especially while I was pulling out got some up here so I always like to go around and scrape the sides down
So there we have it. Fed the starter. And you can already tell that it's super happy because it's already gotten some air bubbles in there um, from mixing around. And what's going to happen is just going to sit and over the next about 10 hours or so, it's going to rise um, double in size or so. Last time you can see that's what this part is here um, because it got all the way up to here. Um, today it might get to about the same or maybe about right here. Typically it doubles. So that's why I try only to add in one cup of flour because I don't have a large enough container for it to rise higher than that. But there we have it. So last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my hand to get off any of the wet spots on the top here and my um, coffee filter ripped so I'm going to grab a new one. And we're and the coffee filter um, allows airflow to get through but stops any bugs coming. I have a problem sometimes with fruit flies and I can really tell when my sourdough is doing good because there'll be a fruit fly kind of trying to come by but because I have this filter here nothing is able to get in. So there you have it. Feeding your sourdough starter is really easy. I typically feed mine every day or every other day. If I wait until the second day, there's usually more liquid on top and so mixing it is together before I feed it or take anything out is the good idea. And then um, I just have a spot over by my um, refrigerator on the side where the window doesn't sh get shine any light and I just set my starter there. Um, it's really fun to see it rise and it's also super delicious. So. Um, stay tuned for more recipes and baking things. Uh, I appreciate you being here. Um, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.